Just analysing a little bit of footage for educational purposes, highlighting the absolute absurdities pushed by mainstream so-called science regarding the heliocentric fantasy. Let's have a quick look. Like I said, fair use. We still have flat earthers. We have people that don't believe in vaccinations. And what do we do about it? Well, you could try and prove your absurd reality that you try and say exists. You're failing on every fucking single point. You can't show them substance behave in the ridiculous manner in which you say. You've, you've got the absolute cheek to say, what are we going to do about people who trust fundamental facts of life, demonstrable reality? Regards the vaccines, I'm not really here to discuss that, but it would seem like in the past, various suspicious substances went into vaccines that weren't supposed to be there or certainly the person who was receiving the vaccine wasn't told about. So you can understand why people would be slightly pissed off about that. So already you are showing yourself to be a moron, mate. I know you are anyway because you're pushing the ball fantasy. So to question and say, what are we going to do about people who don't want poisonous substances injected into their body that truth that, 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 that at the same time trust demonstrable reality? I think the question is, and should be asked by us, what are we going to do about deceitful clowns that have the absolute cheek to go onto TV and try and turn things round? I wonder. Well, first of all, I think there's a gene. I think there's a gene for superstition, a gene for hearsay, a gene for magic, a gene for magical thinking. And I think that when we were in the forest, that gene actually helped us. Because nine times out of ten, that gene was wrong. Superstition didn't work. But one time out of ten, it saved your butt. That's why the gene is still here. The gene for superstition. And... Uh, are you confused? Did you, did you bang your head on the way to walk this morning? The superstition gene... I'm afraid to tell you, is held within everybody who believes they live on a spherical, wobbling, oblate spheroid, whatever it is this week. I call it a cannonball flying through a vacuum, all right? Nonsense. If you want to prove otherwise, demonstrate the claims, the substance behave in the ridiculous manner. Show me cranes on a spinning ball. Show me a vacuum. Next to an air pressure system without solid separation. You can. So to try and paint people with that brush that you've tried to do, the people that believe in demonstrable reality, I may add, you are either insane or you're just a moron, a deceitful moron. Magic. Now, there's no gene for science. Science is based on things that are reproducible, testable. It's a long process, the scientific... That's right. And the globe has none of it that is demonstrable regarding the substance. Can't show cranes on a spinning ball. Can't show water wrapping and conforming to the outsider shapes. Can't show us the air pressure systems. Can't show us vacuums. You can't, you can't show us anything of any practicality whatsoever. We just get condescending clowns like you rock up method it's not part of our natural thinking we have it's an acquired taste it's like broccoli you have to learn how how the power can be unleashed by looking at your diet for example so i think a thousand years from now a thousand years from now we will have flat earthers a thousand years from now we will have people that still do not want to be vaccinated the question is, a thousand years from now, will we have people walking around this plane who think they live on a ball flying through a vacuum? <laughs> I doubt it very much. Despite your very poor efforts here at Propaganda, turning things around, chucking in misrepresentations, I'd be so very surprised in a thousand years from now we got anybody on Earth that thinks they live on a ball. Do me a favour, fella. Okay. So what do we do about it? Well, it's a struggle. It's a struggle that's eternal. Because you could 
could have tried some science. That might have convinced people. So naturally, when you're pushing a lie like a ball, it is a struggle, fella. You're not going to fool people who demand proof of your absurdities if you can't prove it. People aren't going to abandon objective reality, direct experience with the substance of life in favour of absurd, absurd stories without any proof whatsoever. The game's up. It's finished. You on damage control with all your other pals will give you a little few extra more wage packets. But the game's up, Bella. Because I think we it's part of our genetic makeup, okay? And there's even a, a name for some of this superstition. It's called pareidolia. What is pareidolia? I call it globotitis. It's where you have this weird, bizarre belief that you are on a spinning, wobbling, oscillating ball that's flying through a never-ending vacuum. Uh, untold speeds. You have this weird habit of parroting and repeating utter fucking nonsense. It's like some weird religious tribe. There's some good people there who believe they live on a globe only through ignorance because they've not looked at the things properly and been honest with themselves or they've unfortunately met a lot of propaganda and been put off at first. But when people see the real information, <laughs> just falls to pieces. You won't be on our screen here talking utter fucking nonsense if that was the case, if the globe was so matter of fact. You'd be demonstrating the claims and it would have been done and dusted. But here you are, damage control, talking nonsense, exposing yourself even more, just like everyone else seems to be doing recently. It's the idea that when you look in the sky, you see things that are not there. Let's do an experiment. Look at the clouds and try not to see something there. It's very difficult. You look at the clouds, you can't help it. You see Donald Duck, you see Mickey Mouse, you see uh, snakes, animals, you see all sorts of stuff. You can't help it. Uh, recently, the Notre Dame Cathedral partially burned down. And sure enough, somebody said, I see Jesus Christ there. I saw the picture. Maybe you did too. It really did look like Jesus Christ. But it was the ashes of Notre Dame. And how Do you know what I never see in the clouds, in reality, in the water, in burning fires? Do you know what I've never, ever, ever seen, neither of you and no one else? A fucking spinning globe. Get over it, mate. It's not too late. Stop talking nonsense. How many times do people see the Virgin Mary in a, a glass of, of tea? So we are hardwired to see things that are not there. Because for the most part, they're harmless. For the most part, they do nothing. And once in a while, it saves our butt. And so that's why I think we will have flat earthers. We will have the people who don't like vaccination. Because hearsay throughout human history was the dominant form of information sharing. No direct experience. Direct experience. Don't do hearsay. Hearsay is nonsense about living on a ball. All right? Don't try and turn things round. You're on damage control, the game's up. Hearsay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Your ball fantasy world's done for, all right? You are finished in your hearsay fant fantasy world, mate. It's all about direct realism, what can be proven, yeah? That's why we know, no matter how many stories you tell, the game's up, yeah? You know, the internet is very new. Newspapers are very new. Science and technology is very new. But gossip, hearsay, slander, rumors, there's a gene for that, okay? So how do you combat it? Slowly, carefully, painfully. <sighs> Uh, yet again, we see a globe, a gandist, on damage control, waffling utter fucking nonsense as their globe fantasy world loses its spin 
and falls to fucking pieces. This is all they've got. These people are finished. The globe is done for. Ah, oh dear.